Hey everyone and welcome back to The Breakdown. Today I'm going to be teaching you how to download and install resource packs or texture packs. Uh, they're the exact same thing in Minecraft 1.16.3. We're going to be going over every single step of getting resource packs in 1.16.3 from downloading them to installing them to using them in game and using multiple at the same time. It's all going to be covered in this video. First and foremost though, we do have much more sponsor, which is Apex Minecraft hosting. Go to the first link down below the breakdown to XYZ slash Apex to start an incredible 24-hour DNOS protected Minecraft server for you and your friends. We actually love Apex so much that we host our own server, played our breakdowncraft.com on them. We'll be checking out Breakdown Craft later, and it is amazing. Apex has 24 hours, seven day a week support. So if you ever have an issue, you can reach out and talk to a real person instantly. You can go to their website right now and get support just like that. It is truly incredible. Apex is also amazing. When it comes to hardware, they have the best hardware out there running on their servers. To make sure you never lag and have the best experience possible. They've also got one click mod pack installation for so many mod packs, over 50 mod packs over on Apex. So go check them out at the first link down below the breakdown.xyz slash Apex to get a server up and running for you and your friends. But you're here to get resource packs, so let's go ahead and do that. The first thing you want to do is go to the second link down below, and it's going to take you here. Now, this is assuming you don't have a resource pack. If you do, you can click forward in the tutorial a bit, and you'll be able to see how to install a resource pack once you've got it downloaded. But for those of you that don't have resource packs, or for those of you that do and you're kind of curious to see what else is out there then come here this is our list of 15 resource packs for minecraft 1.16 and it has all types of different resource packs from medieval resource packs like doku craft to cartoon based resource packs like spax beer bd craft to john smith legacy which is another medieval pack to a 3d resource pack in default 3d there are so many different ones here we've even got faithful down here which is my personal favorite this keeps things faithful and true to real minecraft with its own unique twist so i'm going to go ahead and open all these in new tabs we're going to grab a few different ones we've even got this realistic pack that's pretty cool we're gonna install that and then let's see let's scroll up and we'll grab i don't know let's grab one more we'll grab like spax i guess a cartoony style pack so anyway once you click on that some of these are going to take you to a tutorial on how to get that specific pack but once you're there click on the yellow download button to be taken to the official download page for that texture pack so once you're here on pure craft for example you can scroll down and then you see all the different versions. We want the 1.16 version, and you can choose how what resolution you want. We're going to go with 64x, and then click on that download 64x there. Then you have to wait 15 seconds for this to finish doing its whole thing and basically supporting Pure BD Craft. I like that they do it this way and don't run it through something like Add Fly or Add Focus because that's a lot more sketchy. This isn't sketchy at all, really, and kind of the best way to do it in my opinion. But nonetheless, once that 15 seconds is up, you can click on this blue download button where it will go ahead and start the download in the bottom left. It might take a minute to download, but once it's finished, it will be good to go. You shouldn't need to keep the file on Google Chrome, but you may need to save it on Mozilla Firefox in the center of your screen. Now, we are not done yet. We still can download Faithful, so come here and click on the yellow Download Faithful button. Faithful is a bit different because you do need to make sure you're downloading the correct version, so click on Faithful X32 on the left-hand side, and then find Faithful 1.16.2, click on that, and then scroll down and you'll see this, Download Faithful 1.16.2. Now, you might be saying, Nick, I thought we were supposed to a 1.16.3 tutorial. You're lying to us. I'm out. Bye. Hey, before you leave, Watch the video because most resource packs there was no new textures added between 1.16.2 and 1.16.3 so every single 1.16.2 resource pack out there is automatically automatically fully compatible and updated to 1.16.3 and guess what even if it wasn't compatible for 1.16.2 i'm going to show you how to make it compatible for 1.16.3 and use it in game using the lb photorealism pack so this pack right here as you can see 1.16 is a work in progress so all the 1.16 blocks aren't supported but but we're still going to use it 1.16 and I'm sure you how to, you know, make the 1.16 box work and all that stuff. It's all going to be covered here. So nevertheless, let's go over here to the right-hand side, scroll down, and click on the download button on the LBPR Photo Realism Pack. I am horrible, horrible with this mod pack's name, by the way. So just, I'm going to call it LB Pack from the rest of this video because I am horrible at memorizing or using this mod pack name. As you can see, it's downloading in the bottom left there. Once that is finished, we'll be able to minimize our browser and ours will be on our desktop. I'll show you how to find yours if yours are not. So there we go. The download is now finished. So we can go ahead and minimize our browser. And in our desktop, we have Pure BD Craft, we have Faithful, and we have LB Photorealism. There it is. Boom. Awesome stuff. Now, I also have this unconfirmed file. You probably won't have that, but if you do, you can just drag it to the side. It'll disappear here in a second. But if these are on your desktop, where are they? Whether well, in your downloads folders, go to the little windows icon on the top or bottom left of your screen, just like that, and then go ahead and type in download. You'll have this downloads file folder in Windows. Click on that, and in here you'll have Pure BD Craft, Faithful, and LB Photorealism. Go ahead and drag and drop that to your desktop. Now, let's go ahead and get these installed in Minecraft. To do this, you want to go ahead and open up your Minecraft launcher. Then you want to make sure you're playing just 1.16.3. It doesn't matter if it's Optifine or whatever, but you want to be playing 1.16.3 and then open up Minecraft. Once you're in Minecraft, it's actually very simple to install packs these days. It's 
indispensable for a while, but now you don't even have to reload Minecraft. Usually they just appear right away. It's, it's kind of amazing how simplistic they made it. Processes are separated from like this opening process of Minecraft and stuff. So it is just great. So 10 out of 10 to Mojang for kind of fixing this system and making it as good as they possibly can. But nevertheless, once you're on the Minecraft main menu, you can just click on options, then you can click on resource packs. And we do automatically, you automatically have this programmer art. And basically that's the classic Minecraft look. I forget when they changed some of the textures, but they did change the, you know, old, like the default Minecraft textures a while back. And if you want the old ones, you can get them here by just clicking this arrow and moving it over. And that's actually a preview of how you install resource packs once they're available. But how do you make them available? Well, to do that, go ahead and click on the open pack folder here. Once you click on the open pack folder, it's going to open up your resource packs folder. Then take all of the resource packs from your desktop, right like so, and drag and drop them into the resource packs folder. And like I said, you don't have to reload Minecraft or do anything. So just boom, right here we are, right? We click back to Minecraft and they're there. Sometimes you may have to click done and click on resource packs, but if for whatever reason the resource pack doesn't automatically install, most likely you need to unzip it and like, you know, open it up and the actual file will be in there. To do that, you can just right click on it and then click on extract all right here. And then, you know, kind of go through that menu. And then inside the folder that it creates, you'll be able to find the folder or the, you know, file to drag and drop into your resource packs folder. But nevertheless, once you're here to install any of these resource packs, just click on this arrow right here to move it over into the selected tab and then click done and then it's going to reload minecraft and it's going to be installed so for example faithful is now installed these buttons are a bit smoother things like that if we jump into play.breakdowncraft.com the best minecraft server in the multiverse you'll be able to kind of see everything and see how everything's working as you can see some of these textures are a bit different the cobblestone for example and the stone bricks are a lot smoother and stuff like that for minecraft However, what if you want to, uh, you know, try these out in game in real time? Like, you want to, like, look at this and see what these textures look like. Well, that's awesome, because you can go and do options. So just hit escape, go into options, click on resource packs, and then just move any of these over. So, for example, we can select Pure BD Craft by clicking on that little arrow to the right, and then we can remove Faithful. Then we can click done, and guess what? It'll go ahead and reload Minecraft, right like so, with everything up and running and working and all that awesome stuff. So if we click done here, we go back, and now we have SPAX Pure BD Craft. I might have said Faithful earlier, but I meant SPAX, and now we have SPAX installed. That's a hard word to say, SPAX Pure BD Craft. It was called Pure BD Craft, but nevertheless, now we have Pure BD Craft installed, and it looks great. But what about LB Photorealism? What about this pack right here? Well, in that case, I'm gonna go ahead and click the arrow to move, you know, whatever texture pack it is off there. And then once you've done that, I'm going to click done because SPAX changes everything so much. But nevertheless, once you've done that, you want to click on the arrow here to move this over to selected right on the red texture pack. Then you're going to get this warning. Now, this warning scares a lot of people. The pack may, is made for an older version. It may no longer work. That's okay. Go ahead and click yes, and it's going to add the pack there. Then click done. It's going to reload Minecraft just like it always does, and you should be good to go. It should install and open the resource pack. Now, there are some cases for that. Try not to use super old resource packs from like 1.12 or 1.11 or Minecraft beta, for example, those probably won't work. But if it's been made for like 1.13 or higher, most likely the resource pack will still work in 1.16.3. But nevertheless, once you're here, you can click done and back to game, and you will be able to see that this pack is uh, is pretty realistic, right? It really does make Minecraft look a lot more realistic than uh, the other resource packs on our list. But this isn't going to have things like Piglin Brutes and stuff like that in it. If you want those textures to be like, you know, something custom, you can actually stack resource packs. So we're gonna go into options, resource packs, and we can move over Faithful and then move that under LB Photorealism, like, right like so. And now Piglin Brutes and all the 1.16 textures are gonna be from Faithful. And then everything else is gonna be from the Photorealism pack because guess what? The Photorealism pack is only gonna have stuff from 1.15 and before. All the 1.16.3 stuff is gonna be in Faithful. Pretty simple stuff. If you click done, enter reload Minecraft and that'll happen. I can't really showcase that in our aquatic spawn here, but nevertheless, that is what is possible and that is something you can do. For example, if you have a resource pack that just customizes tools, you could add that on the top, like for example, where photorealism is, and then have your main resource pack on the bottom and it would take the tools from the resource pack on the top and then keep everything else from the resource pack on the bottom. So pretty cool stuff and a great way to kind of keep things rocking and rolling in game. But there you have that. That is how you can install texture packs in Minecraft 1.16.2. If you do have any questions, let us know in the comment section down below and come play on this server. Play.breakdowncraft.com, the best Minecraft server in the multiverse. We've got factions. We've got Medieval Survival, which is a quest-based survival system. It's really, really cool. And then we've got Aquatic Survival and Skyblock as well. 116 players online on a random Sunday at 4 o'clock in the afternoon. It is absolutely incredible. So come play with us. Play at breakdowncraft.com. It's the IP. I can't wait to see you online. My name is Nick. This has been The Breakdown, and I am out. Peace.